thousand years ago, when a shift in the Earth's axis caused the tropical monsoons to penetrate further north, right into the central Sahara. And with these rains came the ancestors of Juan Mahujanj. 10,000 years ago, humans, black humans coming from the south, following the monsoon belt, occupied the central range of the Sahara. This led to the first occupation of the central Sahara, and we have these black people in the central ranges, in the Akakus Mountains, and in the immediate surroundings. And they were not the only ones. Around 7,000 years ago, people from Mesopotamia and Palestine arrived, introducing cattle and goats into the central Sahara. So we can, we can imagine that the, uh, the central Sahara, the Akakus Mountains, um, has been one of the first world melting pot, because we have black people coming from the south and, and say, uh, something like white people coming from the Near East and probably Eastern Sahara. Today in Libya, you can see the legacy of this early melting pot. Walking down the streets of, of present-day Libya, I'm always struck by the, the incredible diversity of humanity that, that one encounters, and that reflects broadly the sort of crossroads position of, of, of Libya within the Mediterranean, with its Saharan hinterland. Uh, Libya's been a great melting pot throughout its history, but what's really surprising is how far back in time that goes, this intermingling of white Mediterranean types with Negroid Saharan types. And that we can see very clearly 